Hey everyone, this is the December Rate Rain newsletter. I am your host, Kat, the busy project manager behind the scenes for Wraith Rain. We're going to have a lot of material this edition, I feel, because it seems just a ton of stuff has happened during November and even more is happening in December. First, the business. Facebook and YouTube live readings and Dragon's Rain podcasts. Empire of Stars will be on December 19th and the 26th. Wraith, the tech genius, has figured out how to simulcast on Facebook and YouTube Live. So you can tune in 2 p.m. Central Time and either go on Facebook Live or YouTube Live. It helps if you're subscribed to our YouTube channel because it pushes notifications to you. I don't know if Facebook does it. It hasn't done it to me, so... Dragon's Rain podcast. On the calendar, it says December 5th. That was the only space we had to put a Dragon's Rain podcast up. However, we are going to do more unscheduled uploads. So that's the live readings and podcasts. Now we're on to the story and book and secret project updates. So the big thing to know is three serials are coming to an end in the first quarter of next year, which is like only a month away. That means that three new serials are coming your way. The membership stories will completely turn over except for Empire of Stars. And that means now is a really great time to get a year membership because they're on sale. But more about that later. Cinders and Ashes 2 came out. That was 11 days ago. It feels like a lot longer. And it's getting amazing reviews. Wraith has been working so hard on this series. She's revising every paragraph. She's really getting into the writing process. If you're a serial reader, you know that the process for writing serials is completely different. I think she's enjoying the chance to weave this this high fantasy retelling of Cinderella. And Cinders and Ashes 3 pre-order is up for February 27th. That means that anyone who signs up for a three-month membership or more today or, you know, in the future will get this book free in the download area before it comes out on Amazon. The audiobook for Cinders and Ashes 1, we have been getting questions. We also have questions because it's complicated. We don't really control when the audio files for a book are approved and will go on the market. Amazon does. And ACX closes for December. Why? We have no idea, but they do. On top of the mad problems there have been getting books approved, it's it's a complete mess. We have no idea when this book is actually going to be out, but we're guessing February 1st at the earliest since the December closure is happening and the voice actor is going to finish recording in the middle of December, so... I think as we know more, we are going to put out samples of the chapter that he sent us because it's amazing. It's like we got Jean-Luc Picard to read this beautiful gay fairy tale to us. That's the story as we know it, and we'll post more updates when we get more information. Finally, we are putting out our secret project for members this month. It's done. We just have to create the page and, of course... The graphic designer wants to do a fancy header, and I have to put up some instructions, and members will be able to download it from the members area. Free stuff! Cursed One is going to be free from December 3rd to the 7th. Bodyguard One is free December 17th to 21st. There will be 25 audiobook codes for members on December 12th. Not sure of the book, but that's going to happen, and it's on the schedule as the freebies. And last, our membership sale. As always, we are doing 50% off of one-year memberships, not just during the entire month of December, but also during January. This is because we don't want to add to your Christmas promotional burden. So we look at December as a chance to tell people, yes, this is going on and you have plenty of time, no pressure. Because honestly, a lot of people don't have time to read during December and as subscribers to lots of stuff ourselves, we know that every time you, you get something, you have this niggling voice in the back of your mind going, oh, you should use that. You paid for it. Why don't you use it? You're being wasteful. 
we don't want to do that to you during Christmas season. That's just not good. (laughs) So it's here if you want it. If you want to subscribe 50% off a year, you'll get the next Cinders and Ashes and the one after that, which is pretty cool. But you will also get those things if you subscribe to us in January. So that's the end of the official business. Now we're into the community space. Lots and lots of fun stuff went on. We had some cool Facebook discussions. You should hop on the Facebook channel and just read through those. I asked, do you tend to read more or less during the fall and winter holidays? The general consensus was people usually read more, except if they're bogged down with family events, especially if you've got little kids. That's so tough. You can't get a moment to yourself. Thanksgiving was, I think, pretty weird for everybody who celebrated, you know, the Americans. We have a lot of people who aren't American who are members of the site and readers. So it's kind of our perspective is America centric because we're American, but we are fully cognizant that American Thanksgiving doesn't really mean anything to like Australians, (laughs) probably. Another cool question was, which Wraith Rain story world would you most want to visit? And Everdark was at least 50% of the responses, but I think Dragon's Reign was a close second. So you get to choose what kind of shifter you would be or what vampire magical power you might have. But my favorite responses came to the question of, what is the strangest movie or show you've ever seen? You should just go look through the responses if you haven't already, because... There was some out there stuff that I had no idea about. We got a lot of Rocky Horror, which I don't think I've ever seen sober. (laughs) So I don't remember much of it. But there was a, a horror movie called Ginger Dead Man. And I actually did watch this on YouTube. And it is fully as weird as it sounds. Eraserhead, which I personally enjoyed as an art student. I think my personal prize goes to Alice's recommendation of One-Eyed Monster, which is literally about a dick killing people. And then the other awesome thing that spontaneously happened was members set up a Wraith Rain fan discord. And it's bumping. There's always activity. I mean, not a flood, which is cool. Like you can actually have conversations and not have to worry about 100 Discord status updates per minute, but it's so great. There's places for fan art to discuss the books, to discuss the completed stuff or the currently going on stories. It's amazing. And people are really getting into it and they're very respectful and cool. So as always, it's a safe space. I'm lurking on it, but I'm not really contributing. Wraith will not be on it ever because writers have to write and don't need the distraction of Discord. And last, we got some amazing fan art. Alexandra did this awesome piece of Valerius, Caden, and Raziel. Take a look. Isn't that just so cool? I love it when people do art because I can't really draw. So it's like magic to me. And that is the end of our show today. The coupon code for 50% off memberships is winter sale, one word. Also, people have been asking about more merch and more stuff. If you have any ideas that aren't completely out of our range, you know, like hand crocheting plushies or whatever, let us know. Like, what would you like to see more of? What do you have a burning desire to buy from the Wraith Range shop? That would be really helpful and awesome because we simply don't know. Anyway, I will catch you on the Facebook and the YouTube and the emails. And thanks for tuning in to our December edition.